Pirates hosting the Yankees, and the Yankees are minus 172 on the money line. The Pirates are plus 144. The over-under is at seven and a half runs. The Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two runs. And the Pirates getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 114, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. These are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow, especially with Cole on the mound. Now, thank you for everyone who continues to join the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you have not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab, the one that's got uh, $14.99. Once you join it, you'll get an email with the link to my Discord, which has all of my best picks in it, and we are constantly chatting with each other in there. Now, like I said, neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. The Yankees are 4-1 and one as a team in Cole's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 2. He's averaging 6 innings pitched and 7.8 strikeouts per game in those games. The under has hit in his last two starts, but the over-under is 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. He pitched against the Pirates in 2019 with the Astros. Six innings, seven hits, one earned run, three strikeouts, two walks, and 104 pitches in that game. Now for Oviedo, they are 3-2 and two as a team in his last five starts. He's averaging five innings pitched, 3.8 strikeouts per game in those games. The over has hit in his last two, and the over is 3-2 and two in his last five, and he's got an ERA of 2.2, and he has not started against the Yankees. Now head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3. and three. The Yankees are 6-4. and four. The Yankees are on a three-game winning streak against the Pirates. The favorite's on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over has hit in their last three meetings. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under at 7.5 runs. The over is 7-3. and three. Now, for those who are concerned about the weather, because, you know, why wouldn't we be? The wind is blowing across the outfield anywhere between 5 and 6 miles an hour, so nothing super dramatic. The last series they played was a four-game set. Well, they played a two-and-two two last year. Two in Pittsburgh. The Pirates won the first game five to two, and then the Yankees won the next three. 16-0, nothing, nine, eight, and fourteen to two. The Yankees are six and four in their last ten, four and one in their last five, and the under is six and four in their last ten. Just takes getting eliminated from the playoffs to actually play good. And for the Pirates. They are 6-4 and four in their last 10 as well. The over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10, and they're on a three-game winning streak. If it was anyone other than Cole on the mound, I would probably take the Pirates, but I'm going to lean with the Yankees here. I'm going to take the Yankees with the money line. I'm going to take the Yankees laying the runs, and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.